everyone. I just wanted to give you the news. If you haven't seen it already, we now have direct evidence that Joe Biden took payments, direct payments from his brother, Jim Biden, in a complete money laundering scheme. And this links him to foreign investments. Democrats have been giving us hell. The media has not believed our stories. On oversight, we have been investigating Joe Biden directly and his corruption through his family businesses because Joe Biden is the brand. Well, now we have a check for $200,000 that came through a company that his brother had invested in and they were cycling money through from foreign investments. This is the most explosive news. This news to be needs to be spread everywhere. Make sure you tell everyone you know, share this video, share this post. Joe Biden has been busted and we just got the goods. We have the receipts and we have an actual check that Joe Biden received directly made out to him from his brother, Jim Biden for $200,000. Again, this check was written to him directly out of a company where money had been brought in the very same day. $200,000 was paid in from a foreign country and $200,000 was written on a check to Joe Biden. This is corruption at the highest level. Make sure everyone knows and we have more information coming soon. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, one and all, to the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. What's on tap for today? Well, as you saw, Marjorie Taylor Greene, she was talking about the $200,000 check that was written from Jim Biden to Joseph Biden. And here it is, folks. It's right here. March 1st, 2018, Sarah and James Biden Sr. paid to the order of BG, the big guy, Joseph R. Biden Sr., $200,000. There she is. That's all she wrote. And it says loan repayment. That's right, folks. The smoking gun. Just one of the smoking gun pieces of evidence that have finally fallen. Let's see what really happens because we all know there's a two tier system of justice in the United States, maybe even three tiers. Nothing for the little guy, but for the big guy upstairs, there's all kinds of ways to escape out of these things here, right? Because the Department of Justice is all underneath the Biden administration anyways. I want to go a little bit more in depth onto this. Wanted to show you this thing here. MTG put that video out there basically saying that, you know, we got him. Listen, folks, until somebody actually gets indicted and actually goes to jail or something actually happens... All we can do is just wish and hope for this stuff to happen. But the, the the nice thing about this, or the best news that we can accept out of this, it is now out in the public, and it's for people like us to disseminate this out there and then let everybody decide for themselves what they think of this check going to Joseph Biden, President of the United States of America. Now, let's go to see a little bit more in-depth and detail here. This is Congressman Comer. He's trying to basically saying they're speaking out of their rear end, these guys. All right. So what's he say? He is the House Oversight Committee chair. He says the reason that allegedly that they're saying is that the $200,000 check, it's just a, it's a story. They're trying to basically say, you know what, all this was like a repayment loan. It's really not a payoff. I was just, you know, getting money back for money that I loaned my family because I'm such a good guy that I just loan money out to my family. I don't really care when it comes back. And if they do happen to send me a check, you know, yeah, I'll accept it. So what's so suspicious about this payment? Because it flowed through a distressed entity, a shell corporation called AmeriCorps, which basically said it loaned James Biden a total of 600000 On March 1st, AmeriCorps wired James Biden $200,000. That came to James Biden. The same day that $200,000 comes into James Biden, Joe Biden's brother, brother-in-law, right? Guess what? James Biden sent Joe Biden a $200,000 check, the one that we just showed. So Comer subpoenaed these financials back in September, and here's what he told Fox Business on Monday. 
said that this check that Jim Biden wrote is the same thing that he received from the company AmeriCorps, which is on the verge of bankruptcy. And today it is bankrupt. But he put loan repayment. White House is saying that Joe Biden loaned his brother money. We don't believe he did. Now, let's say they pull something out of their derriere. That does say that Joe Biden loaned Jim money. Either way, we have Biden's, Jim, Biden's personal bank records. I can say with confidence, he had no money to pay Joe Biden back other than the $200,000 wire that came from AmeriCorps. In other words, they look back at all this information. They subpoenaed his bank records, his financials. He didn't have the money. So where that money came come from? It came from another entity. And from that entity he used, it didn't work for that. No. He explains the incident, basically saying, so either Joe Biden was paid $200,000 as part of an influence peddling scheme payback, kickback dividend, or Joe actually made a loan to his brother. And because his brother influenced Pedal AmeriCorps Health, that's how he paid him back his $200,000. You can't have it both ways, folks. You can't have it both ways. And he goes on to say, <laughs> either Joe Biden, he either makes $200,000 or he didn't lose $200,000. Either way, Joe Biden is $200,000 better off today because of his family's influence peddling scheme. And as, we, as far as we know, like everyone else or everything else out there, folks, Joe Biden met the CEO. We know that Jim Biden made a pitch for AmeriCorps Health, that he could help them get all sorts of money from the Middle East through his brother's contacts in the Middle East. So Joe Biden has met the CEO of AmeriCorps. I mean, it's just, right? It just looks, but the optics look bad. If Trump had done this thing, you know, everybody would have come out of the freaking woodwork. And they have for things that don't even amount to this. There's things out there that they're going after President Trump on that have absolutely nothing to bear on whatever he did. Just bring it out of the, you know, throw as much stuff as you can against the wall. Some of it's going to stick. And, you know, that's it. Not that he committed a crime and you go after that. Let's go and just see if we can invent a crime invent something to go after President Trump for. But when you have stuff like this, now all of a sudden, oh, well, you know, it was just a loan repayment. That's all it was. You know, I'm giving up money to my family. What's wrong with that? I'm a good guy. I'm the big guy. You know, I'm the 10% big guy. Now, as he goes on to say, Comer, that this is classic influence peddling 101. And Joe Biden, as is always the case, was front and center. But now we've got hard evidence, Comer says, that he benefited $200,000. And I'm sure they're digging into more stuff from James Biden as well. Now, Comer says that the, how is the Biden family, how rich are these people? I mean, most of the time when you hear all these stories, okay, Hunter's broke, you know, his, um, the son-in-law is, the daughter-in-law is, the son's a daughter, they're all broke. They have any money. That's why Joe Biden has to step up, okay? The big guy and lend him some money. If that's what he's doing, he's not lending that thing. And he says, they opened 20 shell companies. 20 shell companies. What are you opening up shell companies for? And the reason he said this relevant is because he previously served as a bank board member before serving in Washington, D.C. Now, the committee chairman, Comer, he's not the only member of Congress who says that the Bidens laundered money. No. He says, we finally, we finally have direct evidence of Monday, money laundering. And as we heard before, Marjorie Taylor Greene says that $200,000 check, same day, folks, exactly same day. And what's going on with this thing here? As we said before, it's a money laundering scheme. It's that same type of money laundering scheme that people have been put in jail for. Remember when they went after, remember when Dinesh D'Souza went to jail? Why? Because of, you know, undue influence, because I think he gave a friend of his who was running for Senate at the time or something in New York City. He put together, I think it was 10000 or $20,000.
most people, they just get a slap on the wrist. That's all they get, a little, little slap on the wrist. But what happened? The Obama DOJ, the Obama administration, the power of the administration wanted to set an example because Dinesh D'Souza was putting out all these films, right, about Barack Obama and his beginnings and, you know, how he really wasn't all he said that he was and that how, you know, what influenced him, all the socialist Marxist teaching from his father on Danta, you know, all the people that surrounded him. So the Obama administration wanted to teach him a freaking lesson. So they threw him in jail and they basically said, you know what? You violated campaign election laws. You can't give more than, you know, I don't know what the amount is like, what is it, 3,700 total you can give now or somewhere in that range. People have gone to jail for less. Look what they, remember what they did to Martha Stewart? I mean, <laughs> she made what? I think less than 100,000, if I'm correct, on some stocks that she sold. And they decided to go after her and put her into jail. I mean, that she's a private citizen. Dinesh was a private citizen. This, we're talking about the President of the United States and his family. They're profiting from all of this. So here's how this money laundering scheme they're talking about. You just basically buy a company that's going bankrupt or you invest in a company that's going bankrupt to save the company. And then you run money through it through criminal enterprises. And that's what was happening. They were selling out Joe Biden for access. His family members, Hunter, Jim, and so many others. This is exactly what they were doing, folks. Exactly what they were doing. I mean, what else? What else is there? Shell companies over 20? Who's got shell companies? And then I thought that if some of these shell companies, if they're in Joe Biden's name, aren't you supposed to put them in a blind trust? Aren't you supposed to divulge all this information so that, you know, you can't make money? Is that what they were saying? Oh, Trump's going to make so much money through his hotels around there. He's just going to advertise in the White House, you know, stay at my hotels, stay at my casinos, go gamble, do a bunch of things. Is that what was going on? So we just got to think about, here we go again. This is what we're talking about, folks. That $200,000 check written back in 2018 on the same day that that company got money into Jim Biden's account. And remember, that company is now defunct. It was going bankrupt. They were running money through it. And it was influence peddling. And it's just one piece. It's just one smoking gun that hopefully is going to um, just wake some people up on the left, wake some people up in the middle of the independents and say, you know what, this can't continue. We can't allow this to go on. Anyways, we appreciate you taking the time to watch. You've been watching the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I have been your host, Dr. Nasser, the doctor, the democracy, the MD, the republic. I'll leave you with my final thought, which is when you're right, you're right. And when you're left, you're wrong. We'll see you again next time, folks. Take care and stay safe.